story. Wisconsin's Attorney General in Green Bay today calling prescription painkiller abuse the worst public safety issue he's seen in his time in law enforcement. Now he's asking for help in the fight against this growing problem. NBC 26's Marissa DeCandido is live in Green Bay with more information. Well, Stacy, that's right, and that help would come from employers. Attorney General Brad Schimmel wants them to reevaluate their drug policies to include prescription drugs in them, like they do here at Wisconsin Public Service. At WPS, an employee's well being comes first. The power of this addiction is stronger than the fear of death, especially if they're struggling with addiction. We have a voluntary program where they can come forward and they will receive treatment. The company will, will pay for treatment. Something yes. Attorney General Brad Schimmel That's kind of shocking thinks news. more companies should do. We have a lot better chance of helping someone struggling with addiction if we get to them earlier. One way to do that, include prescription painkillers in companies' drug and drug testing policies. Discovering that someone struggling with addiction doesn't have to be the end of their work. But with employers losing $26 billion a year nationally because of prescription pain med abuse. This is affecting business in Wisconsin. Employers can help solve the problem. Yes, we've definitely had employees that have um, faced issues and have received, have received treatment and are obviously still productive employees in the company, definitely. And help their business along the way. Well, Schimmel says painkiller abuse has ties to other problems in our area, including heroin abuse and human trafficking. He says 80% of heroin addicts say they started with painkiller addiction. Live in Green Bay, keeping you connected, Marissa DiCandido, NBC 26.